Well, controversy unfolding tonight between the Los Angeles Police Union and a city involving COVID-19 testing. The union is asking for an investigation into what they're calling a pay-to-play contract involving a city commissioner. KTLA's Lauren Lister joins us live from downtown LA. So, Lauren, what exactly is the police union alleging? Let me set this up, Pedro, and share. LA city workers who aren't vaccinated against COVID 19 have to get COVID tested twice a week, $65 per test. Tonight, City Hall is responding after the union that represents rank and file LAPD officers is calling for an investigation into the contract the city awarded for that COVID testing, the union alleging conflicts of interest and ethical violations. They, they literally just handed over a $3 million contract uh, to, a, to a political donor who's also a city commissioner. Um, I think anybody walking down the street, if you ask them, they're going to say this doesn't smell, it doesn't pass the smell test. The LA Police Protective League calling for an investigation into this $3 million contract the city awarded for LA employee COVID 19 testing and related services to PPS Health, doing business as Bluestone. A partial owner of the company, Pedram Salampour, is on the board of commissioners for the LA Fire and Police Pensions, which administers retirement benefits for many city employees and the LAPPL points to political contributions he's made to the campaigns of several city officials following the city's vaccine mandate the LAPPL says they found the connections when they were negotiating over COVID-19 testing requirements the sticking point that we had over the last several weeks was the uh, city was dead uh, set on having us go to a certain company called Bluestone. We said, hey, why can't we go to Kaiser Permanente? Why can't we go to CVS? Because a lot of these places offer free testing. Um, and, and they said, no, it has to be Bluestone. The LAFPP, in response to the contract concern, stating in part, Commissioner Salimpour was not engaged or part of the review and vetting process concerning the COVID-19 testing contract. Also stating they verified the personnel department followed all appropriate contracting provisions as currently authorized by the city council and all applicable ethics and contracting laws were followed. Jessica Levinson was president of the LA Ethics Commission. Just because somebody is a donor, just because they have connections, doesn't mean that they are disqualified from later doing business with the city necessarily. And I should stress that I did reach out to Salimpour by phone multiple times today. He did not return my calls and no response to my request for comment with Bluestone, the COVID testing company. Sharon Pedro, back to you. Well, Lauren, the police union, they contend that this was a no big contract. So what is the city saying about that? Yes, so this is an important point. A, a big sticking point for the LAPPL is that they say this was a no bid contract. That is true. But here is what the city points to, that back in 2020, the personnel department points to action that the city council took, uh, suspending competitive bidding restrictions in cases related to emergency actions required by the COVID-19 pandemic. So the personnel department in a statement telling me this, that given the uh, requirements of the city's vaccine mandate for city employees within less than a one month time frame that they had the personnel department did vet seven vendors for this contract and pps health or bluestone was selected because it was the only company that was able to offer the variety of needed services at a competitive rate now i was told that the formal bidding process takes a number of months and that this process was a lot faster given the time constraints that they were in. Also, the personnel department saying that this company has done good work for other area governments, including the county of Los Angeles. A whole lot of information there and Lauren Lister keeping on top of it. Thank you so much for that live report.